Hey, what's happening, guys? Bharat Nagpal for Eye Android in Lenovo just launched the Moto Z Play and the Moto Z. We're going to be unboxing the Moto Z. Let's get started. So the phone has been launched for a price of thirty-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. Whereas the Moto Z Play, a more affordable phone, has been launched for twenty-four thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. We are making a video for the Moto Z Play separately, so you can go check that out. Now, the biggest thing about the Moto Z and the Moto Z Play are the mods, and we're going to be talking a little bit about them in this video. So the first thing inside the box is the phone itself. You will also get a bunch of documentation. This plastic snap-on case. You also get a included cover mod inside the box, so you get this wooden finish mod. You also get a turbo power charger, which does have the cable pre-attached. Now this is a USB Type C, a first for Motorola or Moto, it's called right now. Also in the box is a USB to USB Type C cable for data syncing. You want to charge it separately on a power bank, etc. This cable is also included for the first time. Now the earphones inside the box are standard analog jack headphones, so you do get a 3.5 mm analog jack to USB Type C adapter. Now this will allow you to use your own headphones or the earphones inside the box, and you also get this clamp that allows you to ensure uh, that your headphone adapter does not fall off. You also get a SIM removal tool inside the box, and that is more or less everything from the box of the Moto Z. Let's check out the phone itself. Over at the front, you do get a front-facing 5 megapixel camera, and you also have a forward-firing flash. Below that you have a 5.5 inch uh, 2560 by 1440 pixel display. Now this gives it a 535 pixels per inch. This is an AMOLED display, which is fantastic. You also get Corning Gorilla Glass 4. Now below that you have the fingerprint sensor, uh, and you also have dual microphones. On the bottom you have a USB Type C port, and on the right of the device is the power button and the volume rockers. Over at the top you get the SIM tray and a noise cancellation microphone. There's nothing on the left of the device. On the back is the main 13 megapixel camera with an f1.8 aperture. You get laser autofocus, optical image stabilization, and a dual tone flash. You can shoot 4K video at 30 frames per second. Below that, you'll see this proprietary connector that allows you to add mods. And uh, I'll quickly show you a bunch of mods. But before I get into that, uh, running the device is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 820 chipset, which is a quad-core chipset. You also get the Adreno 530 GPU. This is available in two variants, but in India they're launching the 64GB variant with 4GB of RAM. The battery on the Moto Z is a 2600mAh battery, despite the fact that it's only 5.2mm in terms of thickness and weighs in only at 136 grams. The phone feels fantastic in the hand. It's running Android 6.0.1 and they will update it to Android Nougat as soon as it's released and uh, Motorola is one of the first companies to update their flagships. So we can see that on uh, the Moto Z as well. Now the user interface is very iconic to Motorola or Moto now, I keep mixing it up. Uh, they do have a clean Android install with only the Moto app that allows you to customize your gestures uh, and your Moto voice, etc. So in case you wanna do that, you can jump into the Moto application now the phone does support mods quite extensively and you can pop on mods uh, including a sound boost mod from jbl you also have a power pack uh, from incipio with which will allow you wireless charging as well as regular charging and then you also have a motorola projector mod which works really well and i tested it out uh, and interestingly one of my favorites is the hasselblad camera uh, which works really well uh, so you can pop these on, the phone will recognize them immediately. Now you don't need to remove the battery or anything like the G5, you just snap them back on. They connect with the 16 pin connector and you have magnets on either side of the phone. There are a total of four magnets holding the mod in place. It's a, quite a secure fit. Uh, you don't need to fidget around with it and you don't need to worry if it's gonna fall off. So overall it seems like a really good interface in terms of attaching these attachments and there's a big improvement in terms of overall capability. So if you're attaching a speaker, you get a full-fledged speaker with a lot of low-end enhancement along with overall loudness of the speaker will increase considerably. Now one gripe that I do have is that if you're using the projector mod, you can't use the speaker mod, which would have been a good combination. So if you're watching a movie uh, on the projector mod, attaching the speaker mod via Bluetooth or some other system should have been allowed. Uh, but in that case, you'll have to use your own either headphones or uh, speakers which connect via Bluetooth. 
because of the fact that it's more or less vanilla android you get a really good user experience now we'll be testing this phone in depth and we'll also be making a video on the mods so stay tuned for that uh, this has been Bharat Nagpal guys thank you for watching if you like this video give it a big thumbs up check us out on Facebook Twitter Google Plus make sure you hit the subscribe button it's absolutely free and you get all the latest tech information thank you guys for watching I'll see you in the next